everyone welcome to the turning point in this session let us solve a problem on friction and the question is horizontal block of 1 kg weight so that is resting on a horizontal surface with coefficient of friction is equal to 0.1 the force of 0.8 newtons is applied so as shown in the figure then calculate the normal reaction and frictional force and justify whether the block is able to move or not so if you want to solve this first you need to consider the free body diagram so when you want to consider free body diagram remove all the surface contacts remove all the surface contacts uh, and represent that one separately weight of the block is given as uh, uh, that is given in terms of mass first you need to convert that one into newtons so mass is given as 1 kg so you know that weight is equal to mass into acceleration into due to gravity right so mass is 1 kg so this is 9.81 so this is 9.81 newtons so weight is 9.81 newtons so that will act vertically downwards and given that so there is a horizontal force of 0.8 newtons so if you observe this block is not able to move in this direction downward direction it is able to move in this direction in this direction in this direction but it is not able to move in this direction but because there is a restriction so when there is a restriction there will be a reaction in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface which is nothing but normal reaction by the application of 0.8 newtons it may have tendency to move in this direction it may have impending motion in this direction in the opposite direction you need to represent the frictional force so this is frictional force which is equal to mu m so if i want to evaluate a uh, uh, normal reaction value and frictional force value so i need to calc uh, use two equations uh, sigma fx is equal to 0 sigma fy equal to 0 so i will use those two equations uh, when the object is under the state of rest so here it is not mentioned there he is asking us whether the body is able to move or not suppose if i apply 0.8 newton force the block is able to move along x direction only it is not able to move along y direction so when there is no movement along y direction so the algebraic sum of force components along y direction is equal to 0 which is nothing but sigma fy equal to 0 in this case by because there is no linear movement along y direction so when there is a resultant force along y direction so there will be movement along y direction when there is no resultant moment uh, resultant force along y direction so its value will be equal to 0 so algebraic sum of force components along y direction equal to 0 here sigma fx may be equal to 0 or may not be equal to 0 so if it is uh, mentioned that it is under equilibrium so that is equal to 0 sigma fx is equal to 0 if it is not under equilibrium so then we will get different value there so sigma fy equal to 0 when i consider n is equal to 9.81 newtons why because n acting vertically upwards so 9.81 newton acting vertically downwards so n minus 9.81 equal to 0 from that n is equal to 9.81 newtons so i want to calculate frictional force f is equal to mu n so here coefficient of friction is given as 0.1 and uh, normal reaction i got that one is 9.81 newtons so frictional force value is 0.981 newtons here the applied force is 0.8 newtons and the frictional force is more than that so it is 0.98 newtons that means by the application of 0.8 newtons it is not able to move in this direction if this is also 0.8 newtons so then it will be under the state of rest here both are not equal so the frictional force is uh, more than uh, the applied force as the frictional force is more than the applied force the block is not going to move so we have calculated the normal reaction and the frictional force also